What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube play of the daytime. We're coming at you guys. One college basketball spot, one NBA um, in season tournament play. Um, and yeah, we got two spots today. Uh, if you could hit that like button before we get started, um, I'd really appreciate that. Also, hit the subscribe button, please, if you haven't already, and that notification bell so you know when we go live. Um, trying to stay in the green, right? We're in the green in all of our sports here right now on the on the channel. I have a 1.5 unit spot here um, for some college basketball and also back in one of my boys in the NBA with my Bucks in action. You guys can see it right there. They're in action tonight playing against the Knicks. I'm, I'm excited for that one. So without further ado, let's get it started here. I will start out with my guy. Let's start NBA. We're going Giannis. Rebounds plus assists over 16 and a half. I know it's kind of weird to to want to play these. Um, with a, a guy like Giannis not having the points aspect in there. But you guys know um, the, the Knicks are really tough, man. Uh, points in the paint. Um, they're one of the better teams in the NBA. Um, fourth in the NBA right now, 43.9 um, points in the paint. Uh, don't expect Giannis to be stepping out shooting threes. Um, I know if you look at his, his past numbers, he has been getting there de a decent amount. Uh, you go to the last year, 30, 37, 22. Those were last year's numbers. Then you go to this year, um, obviously put up 22 points in that one. Um, but I want to tax this rebounding assist number. Um, obviously, you just saw his triple-double on the season. 16.7 rebounding chances for Giannis per game. You look at his assist numbers, over 10 potential assists per game. Obviously, a big dip down um, with, with Dame being there and obviously some usage there. But um, outside of this year, right? if we just go to last year uh, against this Knicks team, 10 and 15, 13 and 7, and 14 and 9. So he is very, very much involved. I, I expect, especially with um, the scheduling format for this, him to get mid 30s minutes, which is something you never see from Giannis. Giannis is not a guy who plays a ton of minutes, um, like ever. So just a heads up there, he is. I know a lot of people are always like, he's, um, You've got to be doing getting a lot of minutes, right? If you're not watching him and you don't look at the game logs, you got to be getting a bunch of minutes to be putting up these types of numbers. Truly, this guy's going to be around 28 to 35, right? Usually doesn't go above that. Um, I mean, you go to the Celtics game, 37. The other play-in games, he was 37-39 there. Um, but I think this Knicks matchup is is very good for this rebounding assi rebound assist number. Uh, we haven't, like I said, we haven't seen him get full run in these um, in-season tournament games, 37 to 40 minutes in those. So um, really tough for me to want to go away from an over on Giannis here. Um, he did miss it against uh, Miami, but obviously hit the number against the Hawks, um, hit hit it against um, Chicago as well. But against Miami, you also got to remember that was 256 points scored in that game. So there wasn't many rebounds to go around. Um, and I expect this one to be really good defense. You know, in these play-in games, they want the are uh, in-season tournaments. They want to win. You had a mid two twenties total. Um, tough work in the paint. I think Giannis is going to show out. I think he's got to show out here, and I think it's going to be in the peripheral department here. Um, you can get nicks from the three-point line, and uh, I think this is going to be a spot for for us to attack um, this outside shooting. Right, we got to hit those threes. Um, the Bucks pretty much have. A bunch of three-point shooters, right? You got Dame, Chris Middleton there, um, and obviously Bobby P, Brooke Lopez. Um, I think we're going to have a, a good shot at this game if uh, Giannis becomes a little bit more of a facilitator. I, I still think he's going to get 25, but it's going to be – it's not going to be that 40-point game that we're used to seeing in these huge games when he didn't have Dame. So really like Giannis here, um, rebounds assist number, um, and think he crushed it. All right, guys, 1.5 unit play here. Bear with me. I'm going to pull up the, my screen here. I'm going to go back to BYU. I'm going back to BYU. Um, let me pull this up. Let's get this number up there. Okay, so this one is specifically on FanDuel. DraftKings had it at this number until about eight minutes ago when I was getting everything set up. And it's 87 and a half minus 118. Um, really do not like that they moved it on me, but hey, it is what it is. Um, uh, and let's get moving here. So 
first off, BYU is one of my dogs, right? They're one of my my wagons this year. Uh, Pope is going to just run the score. Uh, but I think Evansville, obviously, they're, they're going to be a significant uh, dog, right? 24-point dog. But they've been competitive in games. I just don't think they're going to have the size or the talent that BYU has here. But, you know, they're, they're seven and one. They're, they're competing. They had a, a nice win over Northern Iowa, a good team, a good win over Chattanooga. Um, but their one step up in competition was Missouri State. They lost 90 to 78 there. Now they're going to travel to BYU. Um, what I'm really worried about is BYU is phenomenal shooting team. They're absolutely phenomenal shooting team. Um, you look at them on the season, they are shooting 38.5% from three so far this year. That ranks them 36th in the country. Evansville, bottom 50. They go up 38% from three um, this year. It's, it's, it's a scary matchup. They don't have the size um, to match up in the paint here with BYU. Um, also, they're going to be pretty deep, right? You're going you're gonna to have... Uh, three dudes over um, 12 points per game. All of those, we got four of the top five scores over 40% from three. Um, so far this year, we've seen uh, Waterman almost averaging a double double. Um, he's six eleven down there. Um, I, I just don't know how we're gonna get um, how we're not gonna get second chance opportunities here for BYU. The three point shots obviously important there, but. BYU is one of those teams that I like to back because they're a phenomenal free throw shooting team, right? Team wise, 77%. That's phenomenal. And if you just go to the guys that are out there, 92, 100, 78, 78, 100, these guys are going to make their free throws. They're going to play pretty quick. And if you go to this Evansville team, they play a lot faster than I remember them playing a few years back. Evansville top 100 in terms of pace, 79th. Um, they haven't played anybody in terms of strength of schedule at 328 um, in terms of offenses, and they're still giving up these points. Um, but if we're going to play fast against this BYU team who is hyper-efficient, creates turnovers, live ball turnovers, really like these guys for a 1.5 unit spot. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that like button on your way out, and hopefully we're coming at you guys with two winners with Giannis and BYU. So thank you guys. Have a good one.